Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 6th. So, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 6th? What do we have for around the 6th? Five of Cups. So this is grieving. It is grieving. It's uh, thinking, thinking, grieving, uh, crying, you know, crying over the loss, crying over the spilled milk per se, right? This is not realizing that there's another opportunity, not realizing that there's still, uh, or there's another, it's another, there's another opportunity. So I don't think there's still, I think that there's another opportunity that is being missed. Um, somebody is missing something. It's not, and it could be, it's not over yet because I wanted to say still an opportunity and I feel, and I just want to say it's not over yet. So something isn't over yet, but. I feel like it is. It's very contradicting. Fives are struggles. So it makes sense. This is a struggle. Maybe somebody is thinking that it's not over yet, but it is. There's another opportunity waiting that you have been missing. You have to stop going back. Stop going back to that. That hurt you. Whatever it is, this five of cups, this is very... Um, wallowing per se there's some sort of deep sorrow here very very emotional with the five of cups I, what I feel is it's like oh my god oh my god I can't believe this has happened now what am I gonna do now what now what? I can't believe this has happened. You know, that's the energy that I feel. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I can't believe this is gone. You know? Page of Cups. Page of Cups is maybe a new admirer. Maybe a new love interest. It's usually good news. Because there is another opportunity here. Maybe it's time to just let it go. Maybe it's time to let 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 whatever go go. There's another there is definitely another opportunity here. Maybe the grieving, maybe it's maybe it's time to be done with the grieving. Stop focusing on the past. Somebody maybe say, if only I'd done this, if I'm only I'd done that. There's another opportunity here. There is. There's a message of love that is coming. It's coming. This is good news. This is welcome and unexpected good news that is coming. Mm. Strength reversed. Now, <laughs> strength reversed is feeling inadequate. You may have somebody here doesn't feel good enough. Maybe it's because of their past, because of the past hurts, you know. They may feel like they're not good enough. Lack of self-confidence, lack of self-esteem. Uh, doubtful. We have somebody here that may be depressed, you know, uh, over a past situation that didn't work out. Ooh, I think in the past there was a bully. There was a bully, somebody that was very aggressive, mean, never had anything nice to say or was very mean-spirited, very harsh. So in the past, in the past, that the person that, Somebody has been hurt by somebody that uh, was very insincere, very cold, very cold-hearted. But now there's another opportunity. There's another opportunity. So get prepared to hear a message of love from somebody. 
there's fear here though. There's fear. There's fear of opening the heart. There's fear of letting somebody in because of the past hurts. That's what definitely what we have here. Somebody's focusing on the past when they have another opportunity, you know. There's an opportunity for um a very compatible partnership here. Somebody is going to be there could be a new a secret admirer, it could be a newer admirer, it could be flirting, it could be a crush, something like that. There's gonna be some there is you don't even, and it's feel like it feels like you you have missed this, or you you don't see it. You don't see it. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough because of this person. Maybe there was some sort of mental abuse, verbu verbal abuse, belittling, just really uh, mean. Somebody is really mean, and it and it could be a, even a father. It could be a father. You know, if, when you, I mean, I don't know if it is. It could be a father. It could be a husband. It could be a mother. Um, whoever this person is, is they. They may have made you feel like you're not good enough, you know, for something, for some reason. You know, they squashed your self-esteem, your self-confidence or whatever with their words, with their with their um, judgment per se. So I feel like, I feel like there's uh, sadness over, you know, a lost... Oh, a lost friendship or a lost partnership or a lost relationship. There's sadness over that. But there's another opportunity that is, is behind you or in front of you or around you that is being missed or, you know, is coming. You don't see it coming. Okay. Um, but this is, this is, uh. Somebody was involved with a very heartless individual who really broke them, broke their self-esteem, broke their self-confidence, made them feel like they weren't good enough. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's it's very clear. But that page of cups is good news is coming. There's somebody that is, I don't know, going to be, uh, maybe they're just offering support. I don't know. Could be. Ooh, Ten of Swords reversed. Now, Ten of Swords reversed is uh, liberation. It's freedom, but it's also uh, could be something coming back from the dead, you know, um, something coming back around. It's not over yet. Could be. Um, This is like a near-death experience, you know? Very, very painful. Now, this is you've survived, though. This is survived. But, oh, it was just there and now it's gone. Damn it. Um, it came really, really fast. Something about healing... You know, that strength card reverse, something about healing. Not completely healed. Somebody may not be completely healed over something that really, 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 really hurt them. Hmm. Feels like they've been having a hard, having a hard time moving on, right? Somebody's had a really hard time moving on from this abuse. Okay, this is that, that King of Swords in reverse sounds uh, abuse. Okay, that is an abusive individual who is very, very cold and belittles people. This person is hard, cold, and uncaring. Says really, really mean things to take another person's power away. So somebody's power has been taken away, definitely. And there's sadness here. There's sadness over the, you know, whole situation. Um, but this is, it's not over yet. Something isn't over yet. It's pretty interesting. This is, uh, I don't know, let's see. Two of Cups. Union. 
partnership. So yes, there's definitely a, a partnership here, a union, two people that are going to be coming together that are very, very compatible. And this is a, some sort of partnership, okay? Now, that Ten of Swords, though, that Ten of Swords reversed, I just, it's like, I just want to keep saying it's not over yet. I want I don't know why it's not over yet. There's going to be happiness. There's going to be happiness. Expect to receive some sort of communication from somebody that, you know, feels some sort of connection because this is a connection. Okay? It is a real connection. This right here is is killing me. It's killing me. May it be a near death experience. May somebody may have been in a partnership that nearly killed them, you know, mentally, you know, killed their self esteem, their self worth, whatever. There's definitely some sort of emotional message that is coming, uh, loving message, kind message. Um, There's a partnership that can survive. It can. It can survive. Interesting. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Positive. Good luck. Good fortune. Things are changing. Changing for the better. Good news. We definitely have some good news that is coming. This is being at the right place at the right time. This is destiny. Destined change of course, change of events. Now, we may have somebody that is, uh, you know, um, in some sort of pain. And that, because this is ill health and this one is too. We could have somebody that is in some sort of poor health that changes the situation, that changes an outlook, you know. Anyhow, this, this Wheel of Fortune is good luck is on its way. This is the Wheel of Life in constant motion. Positive change is coming. This is being at the right place at the right time. And this is destiny. It's like This is like destiny, bringing two people together or bringing a partnership together. One that is very compatible. Somebody feels really sad with that Five of Cups. They feel really sad. They've been focusing on some pain, focusing on some hurt, thinking about it a lot. I feel as though they're about to get up and turn around and see something or take an opportunity it's like they're gonna they're about they've been crying or moping or grieving or mourning or whatever maybe they have some regrets somebody could also have a lot of regrets there is definitely a message a very positive message that is coming this does have to do with a partnership that has nearly ended Okay, or nearly died, or somebody may be near, because that's like a near-death experience, that Ten of Swords, but there's a chance for survival here. Mm. I think there's going to be some sort of conversation. Um, could even, and you know, it's funny because when I started shuffling at the beginning, I saw the Eight of Cups reverse, which was, you know, I don't know if there's an apology or uh, somebody coming back. And I don't know if it is somebody coming back. Could be somebody brand new. I don't know. Could be. Whatever that is, being the Ten of, the Wheel of Fortune is being at the right place at the right time, which brings two people together. Could bring some two people back together. Definitely some good news is coming. There's no doubt about it. Very, very positive. 
This is an offer or an invite. This is uh, somebody that is very brave. This is a new discovery. It's a new direction. Somebody finding their uh, will. You know, it's like, I can do this. I am going to do this. I am going to focus. So I do believe that there is there's a there's some really 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 good news on its way. Somebody has been distracted though. They've been distracted and I think that's been part of the part of the delay or whatever it is. This could also be a new suitor that is bursting into your world that you have a lot in common with. There's definitely some sort of compatibility here. Very positive change, positive energy. Exciting. A new adventure. Somebody's going to find their courage after being fearful. They've been fearful. But I feel like they're going to find their courage to express their feelings or say something. Ah. Maybe it say something. So anyway, one more card. Very positive, positive change of course. A cycle of despair by the looks of things is over. Because this is over and that's a cycle. And this is like despair, depression, sadness. It's going to end. There is somebody here that is very interested or they're, they've they been thinking about it. Because the Eight of Cups in reverse is thinking about it as well. Somebody's been thinking and I can tell that they have. They've been thinking about somebody. Maybe maybe they're going to use their heart instead of their mind. Somebody's been, somebody's been uh, letting their head, you know, using their head over heart. Maybe they're going to follow their heart. I feel like somebody is going to follow their heart. You know, and they're going to take a leap of faith. They're going to do something, you know, that they normally wouldn't do. You know, they're going to do something that is out of character for them. You know, something that their heart, somebody's going to follow their heart in a new direction by the looks of things towards a union that is very, very compatible It's destiny. This is destiny. This is fate. A fated uh, union. So we have fate here. Meant to be. This is definitely meant to be. Two people that are definitely going to be communicating. And there is opportunity for growth. This is very, very exciting. There could even be news of a child. You know, two people. It could be pregnancy, something like that. Um, whatever it is that you can be expecting a message that warms your heart by the looks of things. That's what I see. I think it's very, very, very good news. Um, good luck.